Hello to all and welcome to the spiritual guidance reading for uh, November 10th and 11th, where we have the waning Gibeous moon in um, Gemini. Okay, so uh, there's going to be energy of uh, greater, uh, more talkative energy is what I'm trying to say. More talkative energy because of new discoveries that could have taken place around the 9th. Maybe uh, that are going to take place on the 10th here. It is a time to manifest change. For there will be a strong desire for change. Uh, Thursday and Friday, November 10th and 11th. So for this reading, I've been guided to the Spirit Animal Oracle Deck by Colette Baron reed and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. Ooh. Give with gratitude and grace, right? When new discoveries come your way and there's a strong desire for change, uh, this more talkative, outgoing energy, uh, it's going to be time for some to reel in those dreams and to not be afraid to share them with family and friends. Heart chakras are opening others up, uh, are opening up for some um, because of the fact that some are impressing others with their accomplishments. Admiration and praise is going to grow throughout the second half of November for the collective. And so here we go. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whoever wants to hear or needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages regarding the energies surrounding November 10th and 11th of 2022. So on the 10th here of November of 2022, Spirit's offering up this beautiful koi fish spirit energy. Spirit is saying we are helping the collective to go into the direction of success. Uh, don't worry that you won't have enough, you won't be enough, because there's always going to be enough for each and every one of us, right? What we work on and towards uh, will not actually become successful until we recognize that we have a certain group of people that connect as a result of uh, success here. And we're, I'll get deeper about that in a minute. And now we do have Spirit saying, clear your mind of the clutter. We talked about being stuck in our thoughts around the ninth. Uh, but now we do have Spirit opening up realization of new uh, successful discoveries. So that whole new successful realization within oneself, within one's accomplishments, uh, little signs even that you're on the right path when it comes to what you're creating at this time. Just know that Spirit saying negative thoughts need to go. We talked a little bit about that for the November 9th reading, uh, but it's really important here on the 10th and the 11th, right? Because we have uh, this need to manifest your dreams and you don't want to get in your own way is a big message here when it comes to your thoughts, whether that has to do with yourself or someone else. Trust that in relation to another or others, Spirit has got a plan here with the Koala Spirit Energy. Spirit is helping the collective to connect with others so you can overcome obstacles and challenges of being judged, of what form of feedback you're going to receive. Uh, Spirit, I believe, speaks to us through other people. So even if you receive a little bit of negative feedback, uh, it's important to take that information and tweak uh, what you are creating. Release your mind of any clutter beyond that, okay? Watch your words. So we do have a little bit of feistiness, uh, wanting to create something, a beautiful foundation for oneself. And as you do so, uh, I think there are going to be energies around you, whoever's energies these are, uh, where you're going to recognize that people are a little bit envious, okay? Okay. And nothing's wrong with that. This is a major time of transformation in the actions position with the butterfly spirit. Spirit saying it's time for a new path, new beginning. We've been talking about this. New chapters are opening up for those who have risen, right? For those who have uh, worked hard and can overcome whatever feedback or jealousy and can now move into uh, a higher, better path, a higher, better you, right? As we go into 2023. So emotionally, we have uh, someone's illusions, right? Taking your thoughts and creating them in the physical world around you and recognizing the truth of, oh my gosh, this is the right thing I'm doing. This is the right direction I'm supposed to go. These are or this is uh, the right connection or direction for me. 
I know that I will have enough and that even though uh, some may be envious or people give negative feedback because they're unhappy, right? It doesn't matter because you're transcending, you're evolving, you're transforming over the 10th and the 11th. So we have be in the here and now. Don't worry about uh, what happened in the past because the past is not going to serve this next chapter in the year of 2023. This path is about how can I know that I'm enough? How can I trust that it is time for me to accept collaboration with someone around me? So for some, um, yeah, there's going to come to mind here November 10th and or on the 11th where there's a realization that uh, as you connect with others, things are starting to manifest. And Spirit's really just saying, enjoy the foundation you are finding yourself upon, uh, the support you are receiving, overcome or overstep negative jealous remarks around you because it is time for a new beginning so spirits giving the collective the strength of the porcupine spirit energy and is saying it is now time for a beginner mind it's time for a new foundation uh, new plans goals and collaborations uh, to start something new and trust that you were meant to learn a few things here and can now rise above into a more successful foundation as you collaborate with others, as you share your gifts, talents, and skills with those around you. So there's recognition and attention coming um, and collaboration for many regarding a new path. We've been talking about this doorway opening. Now in a three card summary with the same spirit animal oracle deck, we've got life speeding up here. Some of you may have recognized that things are taking off and you're starting already to move at a rather quick pace. Uh, spirit same for those people who get too caught up in your head like we talked about the energy on November 9th. Uh, it's important that you just focus on your independence your own unique existence because all that has led up to this point was meant to take place and that's why things are feeling like they're moving more quickly because what is now opening up is truth for you a, a realization of a higher better newer self so watch and wait and surrender to the miracles for you will start to reclaim your power very shortly we have freedom we talked about freedom on november 9th of 2022 video in that video and we have freedom is yours and a rebirth is definitely assured learn from the past right how you have overcome certain obstacles and challenges and how uh yeah sometimes life is difficult right uh when you are an actor and you're auditioning you can get some really bad feedback but you can take that feedback and tweak how you're going to audition next time and not take it personally this is really a time of inner strength Okay, slow and steady wins the race, so be at home in where you are, what you're creating. Know that there will be enough uh, when you collaborate with others. You're going to feel like you have a lot of support and um, spirit saying just, you know, maintain your boundaries as you acknowledge that your dreams are coming true. Be fearless, bold, and at peace. Same messages over and over again. Be loyal to what you love. Okay, so there's been a journey of manifestation. And now we are at the pinnacle of uh, the endings of an old path. Doorways closing eventually here. Uh, whether that has to do with the current home, family, personal situation, or business circumstance. And to clarify that, I'm going to confirm with the Gypsy Oracle deck. I like to confirm and clarify with this deck because it helps me to pinpoint certain astrological, oh, not astrological, a certain people, places, circumstances, situations, and or environments by which spirit is helping for me to translate for you. Okay. So there's always enough. Okay, so there is a surprise here. For some, you've already acknowledged a surprise. For others, we've been talking about the surprise coming. Uh, it's been showing up in the thoughts position, in the creative aspects position. So again, some of you may be very surprised uh, at uh, what has come your way or what is coming your way in the area of success. Okay, transformation. We now have the butterfly here twice. In the thoughts position, probably because of this video, and also in the actions position. Knowing that I can clear out uh, the, the, the negative stuff tied to the past. Negative people, places, and circumstances because of some form of surprise. I can clear out the clutter of negativity and trust uh, that a few things 
in the relationship sector we talked about on November 9th, thinking about a pleasure seeker, someone who was out to have a good time, someone who wasn't uh, in it for the long term. Uh, for others, as you connect with those around you creatively, financially, uh, now is the time to trust that spirit has a plan. Spirit's trying to bring the collective, this pleasure seeker, have fun energy in relation to others. Uh, so that's what this transformation is about. We've had to sit in uh, moments of contemplation and reflection, uh, but it all led up to the spiritual transformation with the number 11, an additional new beginning because of where we have been. So there's collaborations coming together with others and actually a really feel-good energy that is like, wow, I'm surprised at how far I have come. So... What's happening, and we talked about this on the 9th of November, in the 9th of November video, is as we move towards a higher part of ourselves, uh, collaborating with uh, just a completely different level of people, um, there's going to be the strength here to deal with this thief energy. So the thief is someone who comes quickly, takes, and then leaves just as quickly, and along with it, steals your peace of mind. So Spirit's saying, watch your words. Okay, clear out the clutter of your mind. You have transformed and now you are a more beautiful self because you can hold back when it comes to your words. You can have fun in connection to others and trust that as you sit in the here and now, day-to-day -day spirit is helping to create or to come to mind here for you some form of plan in relation to another or others. So transformation is beautiful. Here comes some form of communication with the messenger card. So we do have surprise communication like we talked about on the 9th of November um, as you start to find pleasure in what you're doing connecting and collaborating with new people so too is someone going to be drawn back towards you to have a conversation with you so if that's landing on the number 11 so it may be November 11th uh, there's some real talkative energy within you or someone else um, it's the waning Gibeus and Gemini and also uh, the realization of uh, change. I have changed, therefore I'm not going to allow people to come in and to steal my peace of mind. I'm going to just uh, take the high road, watch my words, and trust that spirit saying I have transcended. I have creating from my thoughts what I want in my own personal physical journey. Therefore, I have the strength to kind of put someone in the friend zone. Okay. So getting out and having fun and connecting with others is very important. We talked about that in the ninth. I feel like the ninth, 10th, 11th, and basically all the way through maybe the end of November, it's time to really get together and connect with like-minded people, family, friends, and trust that what you are creating for yourself is making you a stronger person. Um, yeah, so be in the here and now. There are some here who have the melancholy energy who are a little bit bored and discontent, and that's where spirit's saying, uh, be in the here and now. Trust that there's enough in the area of success uh, that if you're connecting out with others, you could actually find that you're very surprised at how you respond to those around you. It's like you're able to put someone in the friend zone and really observe whether or not you want to come together with them for the long term. So be it professional or personal, enjoy where your journey is now and trust that it's time for a more highly um, evolved experience for you. So day to day we have the faux energy. I'm going to bring upon some form of collaboration. Should I or shouldn't I? Uh, in some cases, again, we have someone sneaking back into your life, uh, wanting to create something together, offering up maybe all kinds of... <laughs> things uh, but again spirit saying watch your words um, come out of discontent or boredom be in the here and now and focus on how you are creating pleasure day to day in connection to those around you that pleasurable those pleasurable interactions are going to again open up the heart chakra of the collective so in the inner strengths position we have the scholar card spirits giving the collective the strength to research surprise communication here the realization of I have indeed risen to a higher level of maturity, spirituality, uh, wisdom, and knowledge. And now I can uh, begin to uh, go into the direction where by spirits trying to guide me, which is a very successful and peaceful direction, energy. So there's a realization of an ending, feeling stuck in the prison of thinking about that and wanting to communicate. 
misfortune in the area of home or family, journeying into the direction of home and family so that you can go away from the enemy energy of misfortune. So there's a strength here we talked about. Some of you are bringing an end to uh, a, a connection that's not being completely honest. Uh, but truth transcends uh from uh, transcends illusion right i'm unsure therefore i'm going to wait and let the truth set me free why because i'm receiving communication that is uh, bringing me energies of great fortune so take off that blindfold of whatever you've been focusing on or thinking about spirit sane and trust that we're trying to bring you into the direction of greater fortune and abundance here so we do have a message coming, and I feel it has to do with fortune, a new beginning, uh, collaborating with like-minded people, family and friends here. And Spirit's saying it is time for new beginnings. Uh, life is going to speed up as soon as you travel away from uh, someone here who shouldn't be trusted. There doesn't need to be harsh words or communication. There just needs to be a realization that you have control over who or what can come into your journey with you and who cannot. You don't want someone to bring negative energies your way. You want to instead say, I've learned and now I'm rising above. I'm connecting and collaborating with new people because I trust that... Uh, spirit has a plan okay so i'm going to bring in the astrological signs and or elements of those who by which spirit is talking about here this is the game of thrones tarot deck dear lord spirit guides and angels please confirm clarify confirm and clarify these messages pardon me so we have the three of cups so surprise celebration Someone may have met someone at a celebration um, or you're thinking about connecting with someone at a celebration, um, but this is a peaceful resolution as well. The realization that uh, some form of surprise has brought you something where you feel like you finally have enough. Oh my. So what happens, right? We get real passionate and excited and happy because of this celebration and, uh, and there's passion. Oh my. Now... It could be that we have this Gemini energy here on the 10th and 11th, waning Gibeus in Gemini, but we also have uh, discoveries, manifesting change. Clear out the clutter of what passion led to in the past and know that Spirit's trying to give you this energy of a peaceful contentment resolution within. Okay, so see, Spirit definitely has a plan when it comes to coming together with others in the area of money. Um, stability, joy, people working together. That's where spirit's saying the pleasure lies, right? Like-minded people, um, people that you have been wanting to uh, celebrate some form of outcome with. Okay, we got three and three, so it's getting interesting. Eight of spears or wands, energies in the creative aspects position. Uh, those of you who've been creating something in the area of creativity, finance, career. Uh, that is the plan spirit saying we're trying to bring towards you. So the eight of spears or wands, energies in the area of business is what I'm feeling, is what's bringing this reason to celebrate. Things start to happen rather quickly, right? We've been kind of stagnant for a period of time. Uh, and again, some are like really recognizing the plan is to celebrate the surprise of new things, collaborations, and you're like giving off this bright, beautiful aura, right? And then someone is drawn to that aura and comes towards you quick and unexpectedly. So remember, when this conversation shows up, uh, you can, you have transformed, right? You don't need to give in to the lust of the flesh. You really need to decipher what someone else wants here. And then just watch your words, right? They are who they are who they are. Uh, some people are going through a, sp a spiritual transformation. The, uh, uh, the masculines are opening their heart more. Um, yeah. So in the actions position, I was going to lay another card on the eight of spears or wands, but now it would have been that, and I feel like it, it belongs here. The ace of cups is a gift from the universe um, in, uh, uh, where there is a new path in love, a renewed path in love, and or just this beautiful celebration of a path that is going to overflow with peace and joy and happiness. That is the direction spirits are saying we're trying to guide you into the direction of having a good time. So we have, I have the strength with the friend energy to come out of illusion and get to the truth of a situation because I'm conflicted. Okay, so we have the moon here as a major arcana and that spirit offering up hope. 
So have hope and trust uh, that you can um, get to the truth of the situation and will have the strength to put someone in the friend zone if they're not being completely truthful and honest. So that energy is kind of lingering. Um, if you're single, you know, this is, again, some form of lesson or experience that we are meant to evolve from and rise above to something or someone better so that's what spirit's trying to guide the collective to do here comes this king of cups energies okay very common card whether you are thinking about a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio uh, this is all about the masculine like i was talking about who've been on this bumpy ride uh, in the area of playfulness uh, someone who is now feeling more balanced emotionally and sometimes it's hard to just enjoy the energy of that playfulness and trusting that that is enough for now, that spirit has a plan. And eventually, um, you know, maybe this person will transform over a period of time, right? There's a building of a foundation taking place here for some personally. For others, you know, you're going to a celebration and you're running into someone uh, that you... <sighs> In some cases, if you feel like you can't trust them uh, and you know who this is and they're coming back around uh, closer to the 11th, remember you've evolved and grown and Spirit saying will give you a new path in the area of love and fulfillment. But it's up to you to get to the truth of is their heart open? Are they ready now? Or else, if not, that's okay. Sit in the here and now and work together. Enjoy the connection without the expectation of where something is headed here when it comes to the outcome. Yeah, because that's what's keeping someone with the Nine of Swords energies not able to sleep at night. Overthinking, should I bring upon this situation? Is this person uh, or offer or opportunity uh, that which I can truly celebrate? So I see a couple things happening. Uh, as someone here comes together with a masculine, uh, you may just be a little bit bored and discontent uh, trying to get to the truth of, uh, are they going to work with me here? Is this what was meant to be? But this all comes down to trusting in yourself. There will always be another if, there, if someone or something um, is a little bit dishonest here. Free your mind and collaborate again with like-minded people, family, and friends and have hope that you will find the truth in a situation and that you will uh, rise above it. Okay, so in the inner strengths position, we got the beautiful Queen of Cups, a very uh, another very common card as of late. So this is a very spiritual, intuitive energy. We've got the Scholar card and the Queen of Cups, so we do have water energy there. In the inner strengths position, I have the strength spirits giving us the strength to watch for signs and synchronicities when it comes to new beginnings, right? Diagonal to a new path in love or a new path of overflowing peace and contentment. Follow your intuition and trust uh, that as you let go of staying up at night trying to figure out where something is headed, trust that uh, this surprise uh, I feel more in the area of money or business is uh, what's bringing you into this peaceful energy. And again, I keep feeling like people are going to be drawn back towards you. It's like you were thinking a lot about someone or something and then you let it go because you are moving forward into the direction of spirit's plan. And you're able to sit in the here and now and decide, you know, the truth while still knowing that there is a million fish in the sea okay all right so in a three card summary with the same game of thrones tarot deck we have the six of swords common card lately knight of coins another common card and the ten of swords so we have i am going to get to the truth of what's on offer here with the four of cups is this an empty offer if so i'm going to have the strength of the six of swords to leave troubled waters behind passionate communication kind words and messages and someone here who's trying to decipher if a balanced uh, connection is being made in other cases if a financial offer is being made 
Someone here is researching a new path, a new direction in the area of money and spirits saying absolutely uh, your hard work and efforts are going to bring your ship in and there will be a cause for celebration. People are going to be recognizing that you've given birth to uh, new things in your life. Uh, connections that are working with you, collaborations that are freeing you from worrying, okay? Um, yeah, so with the Knight of Coins, Energies, and the Sun, what you have been working towards in the area of money, creativity, again, it is on its way, and you'll know that it has come uh, through the energies of the sun, right? All of a sudden, you start to feel really, really good, Um Shining like the sun, you know what you want to manifest. You're very clear about uh, your intuition and you can take it or leave it. Because we have a passionate masculine, could be someone in a leadership position communicating a truth of fulfillment um, or wanting to communicate a truth with someone who may have fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo. So see, this is why I'm feeling one or the other. There's definitely a desire for um, a, a happily ever after. Um, and you can create that for yourself. That's what Spirit's saying is as you do that, so too will you avoid energies of heartache. Uh, in some cases, there's a strong desire for a happily ever after. But what happens is, is the realization that someone is not being truthful or honest. Or there's a situation that involves uh, maybe lies. Yeah, someone's trying to decide marriage, commitment, partnership. Should I or should I not connect with another? So it looks like by the end of November 11th here, we have someone who's definitely feeling this Queen of Pentacles energies, male or female. This is someone who worked really hard to get where you are uh, in some form of leadership position or feeling rather uh, abundant, stable, and secure. Kind of looking back at a path that maybe was long and difficult. Maybe thinking about someone who has Gemini in their chart with the swords or Libra or Aquarius. But regardless, there's a realization that you finally made it uh, through some form of communication or collaboration here. And that's why the past can now fall away. If anyone stabs you in the back, it's not going to matter because of this surprise energy here. So the tower is like the surprise card here. This realization of success with the chariot. So spirit is guiding the collective beyond, like we talked about on the 9th of November, beyond certain obstacles, challenges, or this thief energy of whatever's keeping them up at night and are now being directed to travel into the direction of success and victory. Having the strength to see uh, someone who may be playing tricks very clearly. Yes, that's a bummer. But at the same time, the Wheel of Fortune is indeed turning in the favor of those who are getting beyond some form of lesson, experience. Yep, here comes a foundation, quickly and unexpectedly with the Eight of Wands energies and the realization that whatever you were conflicted about with the uh, Five of Spears or Wands energy, maybe again, Fire or Passion, Sag, Aries or Leo, or this is just conflicted within about what action steps to take. The world energy is spirit saying, eventually things are going to come full circle because of some form of message here. And then you have a new path in love or a new path of peace, joy, and happiness. The ability to lay down all the work that you've accomplished, the passion and the effort you put into the area of home, family, or business, and to let go of crying over spilt milk, right? Someone needs to be let go of. Um, again, I'm seeing, now I'm seeing the Emperor, Aries, uh, Air, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, if someone's acting cold or closed off, again, it's important to trust that Spirit's guiding you into a direction of peace and of victory, success, abundance. And so someone's going to be drawn towards you who should not be trusted with the Thief energy and the Seven of Swords because of your abundance and your success. So when that uh, communication comes, if this is personal, uh, Spirit's saying it is time to rise above where you've been, uh, to research and follow your intuition into the direction of Spirit's plan for you. Have hope that people are going to be drawn towards you and are going to want to collaborate with you. 
Yeah, see, someone is recognizing uh, that they need to bring an end to churning into the direction or away from the enemy here. Lies and deception. Someone's waiting on communication. And you are evolving in the area of love. Therefore, if there is not faithfulness, if there's a realization that someone's kind of throwing you the proverbial bone spirit saying, you will eventually recognize that it has ended. And then it's like someone's going to see that you are uh, feeling sorrowful over what was, uh, but you're feeling more hopeful now because of what is transpiring in the area of money or abundance. There's healing and joyfulness. And waiting to decipher what's on offer here in the area of a business or organization. And then along comes... The Lord energy wanting to bring cheerfulness, but it is important, Spirit saying, to ask for what you want. Okay, because the truth will set you free one way or another. All right, so I'm going to close with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Time to collaborate and trust that your transformation is beautiful and that the truth will bring you out of illusion or confusion. And there will be a surprise that no longer are you negative, that you can uh, watch your words and move on instead into the direction of uh, a new collaboration, a new beginning. Because of where you've been, uh, you now will start to see where you want to go and things are going to start to speed up in your own journey. Oh my. So we had freedom on the November in the November 9th video and now we have letting go. Okay? So I got the 13th here. Um I've been feeling numbers around the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. Uh, but regardless, the card says releasing the past can sometimes seem like a challenge, right? But it can also be very very liberating. Your angels will help you to let go so that you can fly higher, right? than ever before. Endings will always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow the situation to lead you into a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts, right? Clear out your, the clutter in your thoughts position when it comes to maybe lust of the flesh. Maybe it's time to trust that uh, a foundation takes time. You got to plant that seed and tend to it for what 10 to 12 months for some uh, vegetation anyway uh, before something can bloom. So right now spirit is saying you are or the collective is uh, being blessed with many wonderful things to do and eventually it's going to feel great uh, because of this surprise. Um, to get going. Uh, there's this excitement to get going but and, and a desire to make a plan. But at some point, we're going to go from patiently observing to not having enough time. And so Spirit's saying, just continue to remain uh, busy when it comes to collaborating with others. Follow your instincts and have fun. For eventually, you or someone you meet is going to be very self-assured, capable, and enthusiastic. Um, and that is the communication spirit saying will help you to acknowledge a new beginning. Peaceful times are on the horizon and the storms are about to pass. And some of you, if it's not on the 10th and the 11th, very soon are going to see that your destination is within sight. So the stress in your life will begin to fade away allowing for much happier times. If you are contemplating a journey over water, traveling to meet someone, uh, now's the time. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you and or you would like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the fall slash winter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. Uh, that is also a one-month reading. 
I want to say a big thank you to those of you who've liked, shared, and subscribed. To those of you who have attended the live Zoomcast on Wednesdays and or the live YouTube podcast on Thursdays, both at noon U.S. Central Time. Thank you for those donations as well. It is only during the live YouTube podcast on Thursdays at noon U.S. Central Time where I will be offering one month readings for a minimum of a $10 donation. So hope to see you there. Take care and God bless.